Yeah, it's a new season. Uh, past the regular season now, we're in the playoff part of our uh, schedule here. And I know uh, our team is very excited about uh, getting into the playoffs, the NCHC playoffs. And uh, no better place to do it than the Ralph. And want to thank uh, Jody Hodgson and uh, Bill Chaves and his, their staffs as far as making this work and the NCHC for coming into uh, Grand Forks this weekend. Well, just trying to, you know, to stay safe and keep guys from testing positive. And, you know, I, I know there's uh, some teams that are testing positive right now and their players aren't able to play in the playoffs. Yeah, no. And again, that's something that we've done, not just right now. We've done that through the, the whole season here as far as, you know, doing the things that you need to do on a day to day basis. And, you know, one of the things we did talk about our guys, you know, even a couple of weeks ago, that we're winding our season down. We're focusing on on the things that we want to do here. And part of that is knowing that this is your family. And, uh, you know, there, there's family with parents and, and siblings and different things like that. There's there's girlfriends, there's people outside, you know, the circle of uh, of our family here. We really want to tighten it up and make sure that everybody is, is focusing on what we have to do. And part of that is do, making the right choices and, uh, and, and focusing on the next five weeks here of, of being just tighter as a family and, and what we do. What is it like heading into the postseason here? This this is when the season was called off last year and, and nobody got to play in the postseason and uh, it's your first chance in two years to do this. Well, our guys are excited. I, I know uh, it was it was very disappointing for our team and, and obviously the teams across the country of not finishing out the the playoffs last year. Uh, it's the funnest time of the year, you know, especially at the college level right here. It's it's exciting. It's it's what you work hard all year to, to get to. It culminates into this and you know, uh, it starts with the NCHC gauntlet here, you know, with a single elimination with eight, eight very good teams going at it. And then it, it leads into the NCAA uh, uh, playoffs. So, again, like I said, it's uh, it's an exciting time and our guys are uh, embracing it. And we've had a really good week of practice here. Uh, we had short, hard, sharp practices and, uh, and our guys are looking forward into Friday night. You guys are uh, taking on a, a Miami team. You, you saw him twice in the pod, but I'm guessing you guys are going to see a goaltender that you haven't seen yet. Uh, d does that change anything for you guys, or uh, what's it like facing a, a strong goalie that you guys haven't seen? Yeah, well, we recognize that. Obviously, he was he was recognized uh, in our league here with with some individual awards that he captured here, and and rightfully so. He's a very good goaltender. We've watched him from a distance in the pod and watched some video on him, and you know he's very athletic. He's very competitive, and you know he's got a team in front of him that plays extremely hard. So you know we know it's going to be tough to try to get pucks and and uh, bodies to the net and try to get offensive opportunities. But at the same time, you know, we've done a good job this year of accentuating what we need to do to, to score goals. And, and uh, you know, we're going to not really put it in our heads on, on who's in net. It's just how we have to, you know, score goals like we have all year here, whether that's five on five or power play. Hey, Brad, uh, what's impressed the most about Shane uh, into on the season he's having, especially after the accolades? Uh, just probably his overall consistency in his game. You know, uh, I don't think there's very many games that he's deviated from a high, high level. And uh, you know, when you when you look at what he's done, you know, uh, his body of work this year, you know, I think everybody looks at the offensive numbers on on what he's put up, and they're very impressive. Uh, but you know, that has to do with him on his habits and details, but also the people around him. Uh, you know, the, his line mates, the, the, the deep pairing that are on the ice with him at that time, uh, the power play unit that he's playing with. But I think equally as important is, is his uh, defensive uh, uh, prowess, I should say. You know, he's a guy that, you know, plays on our penalty kill. He's a guy that starts uh, a lot of D-zone starts on face-offs, whether it's five on five or, or penalty kill. And, and, you know, to do what he's done, uh, not only this year, but, you know, last year as a freshman, it's pretty impressive. Now the, now the, the challenge becomes doing it in, in the most important time of the season. And, you know, in order to win championships, your best players have to be your best players. He's deemed one of our best players. We got a lot of good players, but he's deemed one of them. And, and, and now the challenge has become to keep that consistency, consistency up and, and play at a very high level going into the playoffs here. Coach, you mentioned this being you know the start of a new season with it being playoff hockey. Kind of, how do you change your approach to these games as opposed to you know regular regular season series? Well, there's I think there's added intensity. Uh, there there's a, there's a situation now, and I think you know the new format right now with a single elimination. I think it forces you as a team to make sure that you're playing your best hockey. Normally, the first quarterfinal rounds are best of three. 
and 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 if you happen to not win the first game, you have two chances to to win the next two games, uh, to to move on to the semis. But now it's it's one and move on or one and done, and and it forces you into being sharp right away here. So I think that you know that lends itself into having that mentality and and focus of intensity that, of the things you need to do to have success, which will probably help you in the NCAA regionals too because it's the same format. How important is this conference tournament to you guys? Obviously, you won the uh, conference regular season title. How important is it to win this tournament? Uh, it's very important. You know, we, we've stressed, and, you know, I, I know Brad asked a question about, you know, the COVID and, you know, talking about different things like that. Well, we talk about it every single day on, on our what we need to do. You know, we need, we need to look ourselves in the mirror and make sure that we get better each and every day. And one of the things we haven't done here at North Dakota is, win that NCAC playoff championship. Uh, in eight years of the existence here, we've never won it. You know, we've won a lot of Broadmoor trophies in the WCHA, but this is one we want to capture. You know, we're playing at home right now in, in our building here, and, and we've put ourselves in a situation where we're one of the top seeds. And, and again, it's going to be tough. Like, we have eight teams in this, this league that can win this tournament in a single elimination format. We want to make sure that we make the most of it, especially this year. Uh, thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Um, all the teams coming into this, uh, not just your team, they're going to be uh, playing freshmen that haven't played the playoffs before and sophomores that haven't played the playoffs before, uh, something we've never seen before. Is there a difference, do you think, um, in how that hockey is going to be played, I guess, or any, any sort of differences at all and how that might affect the tournament? Well, I think, you know, that's a great question. I think the one thing that uh, when you play in the NCHC, I think everybody probably could attest, coaches and players included, that, you know, this 24 games that we played in a short amount of time this year, it felt like playoff hockey. You know, it, it, it felt like a sprint. It felt very intense. Uh, every, every game was obviously worth a lot of points in the standings and trying to get to where you go, wanted to go. So I think you know, these freshmen and sophomore, you know, got acclimated pretty quickly here on a 24 game schedule, what that playoff kind of intensity looks like. And then probably to the second part of the question is how do we, how do you, you know, navigate through it with the young guys? I think it has to come from the, your, your older guys. I think it has to come from your, your leadership group, your, your juniors and, and seniors that have had a little bit of experience at it as far as what to expect and, and, and making sure that these guys play loose, they play free, they play, they play, they play intense, they play with a purpose, but they, they're allowed to play their game. And, and I think that comes from some of the guys that already kind of went down that road.